This is a short video on unit defending, just training the back four. So if you look at this setup, this could be done as a warm-up or a introduction to unit defending with the back four. As you can see, the red, um, purple, and orange cones are set up in uh, right side and left side. So if the coach is to call, for example, L purple, then the defense would shift. Um, the left back would close down the L purple cone as the whole team would shift, the whole line would shift, and then obviously pressure cover balance, they would shift accordingly. You could also call out like one yellow, which is the yellow cone, they would shift to the yellow cone instead in the center of the field. You could call two blue, which would obviously be the back line would shift their shape for the two uh, and on the blue cone. And obviously with the red all the way back, if it was R, uh, R red or L red, the team would just form a straight compact line because it, that's a deep, deep position. This exercise is another exercise that's a little familiar, a uh, little bit similar to the one we just did. But in this example, you would see the left back, if you call out red one, who would shift over, the whole line would shift. The, the only thing that I would say is you could get where the right center back would actually drop. Uh, one more line of depth if you want to do that to get it, get in the habit of playing in between the lines if that was your midfield line. Obviously you could call two red, three red. If you call four red, the right back would shift over, pressure, then cover and bounce. Um, and then you would shift accordingly for, for one, two, and three on blue and one, two, and three on purple. Obviously if you call three blue or three purple, the line would just be in a straight line. It's just another good exercise to get players thinking, to get them focused, to get them playing attention and moving as a line. And this last exercise is one that <clears throat> I always enjoyed. It's You could see that there's elastic bands in the, in the black line in this picture with the back four who are in red and they have to continue to hold on to these bands the entire time. Um, you can, it is six against four, and you can add two center midfielders if you like, and they can hold a band, or you can hold another line of four who all hold a band together, so you would actually be going four. How it works is this is kind of six, uh, six versus four, then you can go eight versus six, and then you could go 10 versus eight, if the red team wins the ball, they can drop the band and play, say, within three passes or four passes into a counter goal, and then we would start the exercise again. Using the bands when you're training the back four or even the midfield unit helps them get the idea of moving together as one compact unit across the